That was the scene. Cheers there marking the moment two decades in the making as a European Space Agency spacecraft marked a first for humankind. It landed a craft on a comet. The lander called Philea did have one unexpected error when scientists say that its harpoons failed to launch, possibly causing it to bounce on impact. But so far, systems appear to be functioning normally. And as that spacecraft made history, plenty of local scientists were glued to their computer monitors. Kenneth Gibson now live at the Air and Space Museum. He's got reaction from some of the top experts in the world of comets and space travel. Candace. Well, Leon, think about this for a second. What an amazing day this was for mankind. You have a spacecraft traveling 18,000 miles an hour, located between Mars and Jupiter at this hour, landing on top of a comet. Even though it was a European project, you have scientists here at the Smithsonian as well as the University of Maryland who were keenly watching. 20 years of planning, a decade of inner space travel led to this incredible news. We definitely confirmed that the lander is on the surface. That confirmation sparked celebrations at the European Space Agency in Germany, as well as all around the world, including College Park, Maryland. Um, everyone was clapping, everyone was hugging, and it was like really exciting. The University of Maryland held a viewing party for today's landing. Students and professors nervously waiting and watching the European feed for hours. It's still happening. It's just sort of slowly happening and disconcertingly happening. <laughs> the last time a spacecraft came in contact with a comet, it was a project spearheaded by scientists at the University of Maryland. Astronomy professor Jessica Sunshine worked on the Deep Impact Project that slammed into a comet in 2005. If you'll notice, they very carefully say that Philae is the first soft landing on a comet, and that's because we were the first hard landing. But tonight, after a successful landing, there are signs Philae is in trouble. Whatever its faith, however, geologists at the Smithsonian, among those saying a lot has already been learned. Yes, the orbiter itself, separate from the lander, has a whole series of instruments that have been collecting data for a couple of months now, and that is telling us a lot. And we did expect some first pictures from the surface of that comet around 12 o'clock today. We we're still waiting for those. So perhaps because it bounced a couple of times once it landed on a comet, there might have been a problem with that. And that's why we haven't gotten those photos. But as you can imagine, a lot of people here at the Smithsonian and around the world are hoping for those pictures to come through. Reporting live from the National Mall, Candace Gibson, ABC 7 News. Yep, Candace, we will be waiting. Thank you.